That's eight-year-old Jada Chance of Schenectady belting out an inspirational message at today's Dr. Martin Luther King celebration at the Empire State Plaza Convention Center. Remembering and honoring his legacy was the theme of the event, which drew thousands to the interfaith service, religious community leaders reminding the audience of the power and timeliness today of Dr. King's message. So when I stood at the Department of State and I took the oath of office as the first African American and the first female and the first New Yorker to ever be the ambassador at large for international religious freedom, I stood and I understood that I was not just standing there for me, but that I had to represent as I went all over the world opening their eyes to inhumanity. Suzanne Johnson Cook, the keynote speaker and White House advisor to President Obama and former President Bill Clinton, says she remembers her parents going to the march in Washington when she was eight years old. And when she got older, she said she realized she was one of the children that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was speaking about.